Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips Dog Grooming Tips and this is Caden and Caden is a Yorkie Cross dog breed and um, he's come in for his full groom today and I'm going to start doing that. So I'm going to give you the full groom uh, video of me doing him. We're going to be doing a three quarter inch blade and scissor cut on him to keep him a little bit longer. And uh, you'll be able to see all that happen here. So I don't use any restraints when I groom. Um, he's been coming to me for quite a while now, so he's used to what I'm doing. So right now he's actually just resting his head on my hand. And we're going to get them all cleaned up. Come here, buddy. So if you do enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and um, check out my channel, see all the other videos that I do have of me grooming dogs, and you can let me know what you think. I have lots of videos of just uh, how to keep your dogs healthy, of, you know, their ears, nails, and teeth, as well as uh, full grooming videos, and also just videos on specific items as well. So. You can check those all out on my channel. And I've created quite a few playlists as well. If you're looking for something specific as well. So hopefully you like watching the videos as much as I enjoy making them. This time of year... It's a little chilly outside. We got some snow on the ground. So a lot of my groomings, um, I'm just trimming the dogs up and leaving their bodies a little longer this time of year. But in the springtime, when all that snow is a melting, I do have a few dogs uh, that are a little bit matted. And we do lots of shave downs with them. All right. I'm just getting this face all cleaned up. I usually like to start with the face because it is the hardest to do on most dogs. And it just gives the dogs some, um, just so that they can know that I'm in control and what I'm going to do. And for most, when I take the hair right away from their eyes and they can see, they actually uh, relax a little bit. But I guess that's just the way I've always done it too, so. That's just my theory anyways. I'm going to keep him a little bit longer as I mentioned, so I don't want to trim the face too short. I'm just going to trim the hair outside of the ear canal. Boy. And I'll be able to pluck it out nice. I just want to get it out from outside of there. I don't want to accidentally pluck that hair. So I'm just going to pluck it out with regular tweezers and I can try to move them up a little bit here. So I do try to get you the best angles I can, but of course it is a moving dog and uh, sometimes they don't want to stay in a certain position. So I do kind of just maneuver around them 
and uh, you may not get the best viewing angle, but hopefully I get you the best I can, and that will be good. Most importantly, the dog is as comfortable as they can be. So he doesn't have too much hair in his ears. Just a little bit so you can put it on the, the back, black background here. Just a little bit. Since we got him here, I'm also do the head a little bit. other ear now. See if I can get you an angle on that side. So again I just want to make sure I'm plucking from inside the ear canal. This is where all that wax sticks to. And sometimes can make their ears a little itchy because when they scratch their ear they can't release the wax because it's stuck to that hair. Once you get it out there then that wax has nothing to stick to and when they shake and scratch their ears it comes out after it dries out so it flakes out kind of thing. Alright All right, so I'm going to start on the paws. Get that hair between the pads. That's where that snowballs like to stay and gather. Huh? Sorry, cutting off his head there. I try to check the camera frequently, but I do miss it sometimes. Okay. Just gonna cut the nail, starting with the dew claw. Just away. That's a good boy. I know. I seen a little strike with there. Turn it off as I see them. Hey, okay, but let's do the other one. Next.
halfway buddy. Okay. Good boy. Certainly is nice to have these relaxed dogs, which are the majority of the dogs I groom. You know, for the most part, they all stay fairly well. I don't have too much resistance, but I definitely do have those challenging dogs um, that I do have full videos on as well. That give me quite the workout. There are times I wonder how I'm going to do that. But I just keep going and going and eventually I get done. It's just um, once you get your techniques down, no matter if it's a dog like this or a dog that's very resistant, you'll still be able to get through. You just got to rely on those good techniques and holding, holding methods that I use. And patience. <laughs> you need quite a bit of that to groom dogs or any animals because you never know what kind of mood they're going to be in. Till they get here. So it's always a little bit of a surprise for me to know what kind of dog I'm getting. There are definitely some that I remember and I know when they're coming, but if they don't have anything unique or they're very aggressive or anything, I don't really I'll write anything down. So I hope that they're good. But some guys, even when they come in, you know, they maybe just move around a little bit more, a little bit squirmy for me. But uh, not this guy. All right, so now I'm going to clean up the bum area. So I'm going to comb out his tail first and then trim up the bum area. And then I'm going to shave the bum area and in under his legs as well. So I can give him a good bath, clean all that up and anything that may be sticking in there. So I always do that a little bit shorter than the rest. I'll put, I'm going to try number five since we're doing a three quarter inch cut. Just so it kind of blends nicely. You don't want it too short. Unless the owner requests it, of course, because some dogs really get a lot of stuff stuck in there. And, they're sick and tired of cleaning that, so you just clean it right up. But it's really the owner's decision what they'd like done. All right.
and it will come back after the bath and at the final trim to make sure it blended nice but right now I'm just kind of taking off the bulk so I can get a nice clean when I bath him and then at the end I'll use the scissors to kind of blend it together Use a number five or number ten, just right around where he pees, so that it cleans it up really good. Gives it less things to stick to when he does pee. Just really cleans up that area. All right, so now we're ready for our bath. He's ready for his, I guess. All right. All right. So it's really important when you bath, you're not um, putting the water directly in the ear. It can roll down from the head, but you don't want to shoot the direct water into the ear canal if you can. But letting it run down the head is fine. And also you want to make sure you get all that soap out. 
And if there's any soap residue left, then the dog will be a little itchy. Okay. quarter inch blade to trim up his body. Uh -oh. so it's not going to take off too much. But give him a nice clean uh, clean look and Take out any uh, any extra curls or whatever. Oh, there's a little bit of matting just right where his tail is, which is common because when they wag their tail, they usually rub it on the back there. Hit the one spot. 
So I don't mind combing that out. But you don't want a dog that's fully matted and try to use a three quarter inch blade on them. Because then it's just gonna mat right back up, but also all that brushing, trying to get those out just to keep them long for him to mat up right again. Doesn't really serve a good purpose there. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a three quarter, three and three quarter inch blade around that area. To get underneath all that. So when I did the bum, I should have went just a little bit wider out. Just to get this area too. There we go. That'll still blend very nice. So I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, there we go. And if I'm working with the three quarter inch blade and I catch a whole bunch of those, I will move down a layer. I don't, uh, I don't trim them if the, the blade is catching too much. And that's just causing a lot of discomfort for the dog. tell the owners that of course matting will always affect the results so if your dog is matted sometimes they got to get a little bit closer of a cut and in this area here it's really hard to grab just because of the how the body is shaped on the dog so I usually come back with scissors to get that out the table up here
All right. So that gets the bulk of it out. Um, so what I do now is I'm going to do another blow dry. Um, and I'm going to put his uh, ear protectors on there at the beginning. And then during the blow dry, I'm going to take it off. So I can kind of blow dry his head out. And then I'll finish with the clippers again and scissors. And then he'll be all done. the head because obviously he's not a big fan but he did really good okay so I go back to the three quarter inch blade and just do the body again so you can see that um, it will catch all that was missed and then all that I cannot get from that I will use scissors So it doesn't take very much off, but it just kind of cleans it up. Just basically it gets those tips. And some of these areas here, i got to use the scissors because I can't really cut into it. Just because of where, where it folds. a Yorkie mix so just by all this hair here I'm guessing it might be Pomeranian <laughs> but not sure that's just a guess <laughs> just a, he's got really thick bum hair <laughs> and they tend to have that really lots of hair in that area and it is off to the side a little bit so could be just another mix of another terrier as well all a mystery. Okay, let's see, there's quite a bit on both sides. Still, even after all that. There you go, good boy. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to use the scissors to kind of all blend it together. Just gonna be 
a little nervous. Come on. He's getting tired of me. He's like, no, it is nap time. I am done with this grooming. So just getting into the areas that the clippers can't get because they're a longer clipper blade. It's always hard in this area as well with the longer clipper blades. I'll use the scissors in there. Just some tighter curves to get in there and bends. like a scissor cut just because of the type of fur he has um, the other three and three quarter blade didn't catch all of it so you kind of got to go over just a little bit with the scissors on everywhere get that area nice and clean Kind of, especially down the center, we want to make sure when he shakes it out, we don't have any flyaways there. There we go. There. We'll just finish up the head and then we'll be all done for him. So after I've done grooming, then I do uh, put an ear solution in the ears and I do brush the teeth as well. I do have some separate videos on those as well. For you to enjoy. So I hope you did enjoy this video. And uh, like I said before, if you did, please uh, subscribe and like this video and uh, check out all the other videos I have on my channel. I'd really appreciate that. So my uh, owners of the dogs really enjoy watching the videos, seeing their dogs being groomed. And I really enjoy making them. I hope you also enjoy them. There you go. So thanks.
for taking the time to watch and uh, hope you have a great day and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.